Hey, everybody, welcome to Thera Planet. If you want to know benefits of red wine, we're back with most exciting video. 11 Health Benefits of Red Wine But, before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you don't miss out on future content. Okay, now let's start the video. What is the history of red wine? Red wine was first produced, using the fermentation process, in Georgia and Iran way back around 6000 BC. And wine was first mentioned as a man-made medicine around 2200 BC, in ancient Egyptian papyri and Sumerian tablets. Hippocrates, widely known as the father of Western medicine, promoted wine as a part of a healthy diet. According to him, wine was also good for disinfecting wounds, easing the pain during childbirth, and treating symptoms of diarrhea and lethargy. Even during the Middle Ages, Catholic monks were known to frequently use wine for a variety of medical treatments. And during the 1892 cholera epidemic that shook Germany, wine was used to sterilize water. Potential Health Benefits of Red Wine the health benefits of red wine have been debated for some time. Many believe that a glass each day is a valuable part of a healthy diet, while others think wine is somewhat overrated. However, studies have shown that consuming a moderate amount of red wine, which has an alcohol content of 12% minus 15% on a daily basis, helps in the prevention of a number of diseases, including heart disease. How might red wine improve health? The alcohol and certain substances in red wine called antioxidants may help prevent coronary artery disease, the condition that leads to heart attacks. Any links between red wine and fewer heart attacks aren't completely understood. But part of the benefit might be that antioxidants in red wine may increase levels of high-density lipoprotein HDL, cholesterol, the good at cholesterol, and protect against cholesterol buildup. Doctors don't recommend that you start drinking alcohol for heart benefits, especially if you have a family history of alcohol addiction. Too much alcohol can have many harmful effects on your body. But if you already enjoy a glass of red wine with your evening meal, drinking it in moderation appears to help your heart. Red wine versus white wine, which is healthier? The primary difference has to do with how the grape juice is fermented. For making white wine, the grapes are pressed, and the skins, seeds, and stems are removed before fermentation. But in the case of red wine, the crushed grapes are directly transferred to vats, and they ferment with the skins, seeds, and stems. Often the stems and leaves, if any, are removed. These grape skins lend the wine its color. If you've ever wondered why red wine may be healthier than white, the answer is in the grape skins. Before most white wine is fermented, the skins are separated from the mashed fruit and juice. With red wine, the skins remain throughout the fermentation process. Since many of the antioxidants in grapes are in the skin, red wine contains more antioxidants than white wine. Antioxidants are important for maintaining good health because they protect your cells from damage. The antioxidants found in wine are polyphenols, which are compounds found in plants. You may also hear some of them called flavonoids. One flavonoid of interest to scientists is resveratrol, but red wine contains others. Check out some of the best benefits that moderate red wine consumption can provide. 1. Improves heart function. 
Red wine contains antioxidants, which are capable of strengthening the amount of good cholesterol in the body. Good cholesterol scours the bloodstream for low-density lipoprotein or bad cholesterol and removes it, which in turn helps to reduce the risk of developing heart disease. The polyphenols that exist in red wine, particularly resveratrol, help to fortify the exterior of the heart's blood vessels. 2. Regulates blood sugar. Resveratrol, the natural compound found in grape skin, controls blood sugar levels in diabetic persons. The research showed that subjects who took 250 mg of resveratrol supplements once daily for three months had lower glucose levels in blood than those who did not. Resveratrol also controls cholesterol levels and systolic blood pressure. 3. Resists the effects of cancer. It has been discovered that resveratrol is able to make cancerous cells less resilient by blocking the essential proteins that normally act as a protective shield for the cells against chemo. As well as pancreatic cancer, red wine is also able to hinder the growth of cancerous cells within the colon region. Research has also indicated that red wine can help prevent or combat the effects of prostate and other rapidly destructive cancers. Regular and moderate consumption of red wine can effectively reduce the risks of certain types of cancers such as basal cell, colon, prostate carcinoma, ovarian, etc. 4. Lowers cholesterol levels. Research has shown that the consumption of a single glass of red wine each day, taken for an entire month, can enhance the presence of good cholesterol in the body by over 15%, while at the same time diminishing the presence of a glycoprotein complex, known as fibrinogen, by up to 15%. 5. Reduces the risk of depression. A study carried out on middle-aged to elderly people showed that drinking moderate amounts of alcohol daily keeps away depression. People who drink red wine are less likely to be depressed than people who don't. Red wine can help to cool the body temperature and hasten the emission of particular hormones that ultimately help the body to fall asleep. The timing of red wine consumption is important, and drinking it with dinner is ideal, as it can help relax the mind in time to go to bed. 6. Prevents Obesity Research says that resveratrol in red wine can convert the bad fat into calorie-burning brown fat and diets containing the antioxidant can help combat obesity. Resveratrol enhances the oxidation of dietary fats and prevents the body from getting overloaded. It converts white fat into brown fat, also called beige fat, that burns off as heat, thereby preventing obesity and metabolic dysfunction. 7 has positive effects on the digestive system. The antibacterial nature of red wines has enabled it to treat stomach irritation and other digestive disorders. Wine consumption has also proven to reduce the risk of infection from Helicobacter pylori, a bacterium usually found in the stomach. 8. Fortifies the immune system. According to studies performed by researchers at the University of Texas at Austin, components of red wine, including resveratrol and pure ethanol, can fortify the immune system, helping patients to more effectively fend off infections. 9. Improves liver function. Drinking a light to moderate amount of red wine has the potential to reduce the chances of developing liver-related diseases. This is in contrast to the consumption of other alcoholic spirits, 
where the danger of developing liver disease can be upwards of several times greater. 10. Keeps Memory Sharp Wondering how to keep your memory sharp? According to research, resveratrol present in red wines inhibit the formation of beta-amyloid protein, a key ingredient in the plaque of the brains of people with Alzheimer's. Red wine consumption and resveratrol intake may be useful in helping adult improve mood and memory as they age. 11. Lessens the risk of visual impairment. Resveratrol and other compounds present in red wine that inhibit oxidation have been shown to reduce the risk of developing visual impairments later in life. Resveratrol can hinder the proliferation of veins, arteries, and capillaries within the eye. As well as this, it also helps to protect against other degenerative conditions that result in poor vision and ultimately, blindness. Drinking red wine in moderation. But what is moderation? For men, this generally means having up to two drinks per day and for women and those above the age of 60, up to one drink per day. Where wine is concerned, a single drink equates to a single 5-ounce glass of wine, 12% alcohol. This variation on what is deemed moderate consumption is due to the difference in body mass of males and females and their respective metabolic rates. Males typically weigh more than females and have a faster metabolism than females, enabling their bodies to absorb more alcohol. So what's the conclusion? Red wine is great. It offers superb benefits. But only if you take it in moderation. If you're a wine lover you can use it to your own health benefits by consuming it in the right amounts. Although, there are other ways of staying healthy, wine enthusiasts can mend their drinking ways and ensure a better, disease-free life. Drinking alcohol is not safe for everyone, and drinking more than a moderate amount can cause serious health problems. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. Subscribe to support us. See you on the next video.